Happy Monday and hello Sycamore. Hope you had a fun snow day. We are Aviator Airways crew and today is January 22nd, 2024. I'm Peter. And hello, I'm Kai. Stay focused on your studies, work hard, study your notes, do your homework, and be an active learner in every classroom, club, sport, and activity you do. Soar Sycamore with PBIS expectations. Be respectful, be responsible, be safe, and be a creative problem solver. Now let's all be PBIS respectful and stand with our fellow aviators as we say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all and please be seated. Wow, way to go Sycamore Junior High Wrestling Team. Keep doing your awesome aviator work. Congratulations to the wrestling team for two big victories last Wednesday night, beating Lakota East 55-33 to and taking down Mason 46-35, to which brought the wrestling team to 24 wins and five losses for the season. Congratulations to the wrestling team at multiple placers in the Cincinnati's toughest tournament, the Reading Coaches Classic. Liam Mitchell, Caleb Dallas, Gabe Joyner, and Ronan Kennedy all placed six. Ryan Dorsnick and Kane Clark placed fifth, and Aiden Dozier and Corden Ross both finished in second place. Wow, that's super crazy awesome. Way to go to represent and way to go uh, wrestling aviators. Get ready for map testing tomorrow, Tuesday, January 23rd, and the next day, Wednesday, the 24th. Power down your computers all the way down. To all the way today so that you have to re-log and, and be ready for testing tomorrow bright and early. Remember we need to update our devices for map testing so update your computer today. We also have two we also have a special schedule for the next two days during testing. We test first for the day and then go our regular shortened classes after. Power of the Penn Club members. Practices today after school from 3.20 to 4.20 p.m. in Ms. Huff's room, which is room 2212. Have your prompts written and ready to share. Okay, more upcoming clubs and activities announcements. A reminder to Beta Club members. Your introduction ceremony is this Friday, January 26th from 3.20 to 4 p.m. in the cafeteria. Please rearrange to have your ride pick you up promptly at 4 o'clock. If you are unable to, to attend, please notify Ms. Darbyshire and Ms. Dorkin by posting a comment on the Beta Club Google Classroom. Also, please stay updated on volunteer programs as we post them on Google Classroom. First Robotics. Robotics team, check your email for this week and next week's competition information. And we have a meeting today after school in Ms. Jarvis's room until 7 p.m. Sign up and check the team schedule in your school email to communicate your involvement. Be responsible and check, check, check your emails every day, people. Be responsible and make this a great place to work for the future goals. Mark your calendars! Oh, you don't want to miss this event. Uh, the 21st Annual Student to Student Forum is coming up next Thursday, January 30th, from 7 to 8.30 p.m. at Sycamore High School, room 1809. If it snows, it will be February 1st. Hear directly from a panel of high-flying aviators about their high school experience to help you plan your experience. Report cards have been posted online. How did you do? Next Tuesday, January 30th, is Club Picture Day. Make sure to know when your club or clubs are scheduled for group pictures throughout the day to get in our junior high yearbook. February is quickly approaching. Friday, February 2nd, is the Choir Variety Show at 7 p.m. in the high school auditorium. And February 6th is Family Teacher Conferences. Next, Next up, Athletes of the Week. Good afternoon, Sycamore. Mr. Stern here to do this week's uh, Athlete of the Week. Uh, we're getting started a little bit late this week uh, because we typically film on Monday, but we were not here on Monday. So uh, we are doing it today. We are filming on Thursday. Um, we have had an amazing week of athletics. Um, I, I have not figured out how far back it goes, but we have 
at least a streak of seven straight basketball wins. Um, uh, last night, uh, Wednesday night, uh, the seventh grade and eighth grade girls knocked off Mason, and it wasn't even close. Um, they were uh, absolute blowouts on both sides of the ball. Um, also, um, our seventh, eighth green team played at home yesterday and had a huge win over King. So uh, this weekend we've got swimming and diving championships. So if this uh, is showing on Friday of this week, um, that will take place this weekend. But we are here to honor our athletes of the week, and I have Anna Olenek with me, and she is uh, here from seventh grade cheer. Is that correct? Oh, she's here from 8th grade cheer um, with Coach Emily. We do have 7th grade cheer uh, as well. And this reads, Anna is an incredible asset to our squad. She comes to practice with a positive attitude and is always ready to work hard. She is highly motivated and eager to accomplish new skills. Now, did you do it in the fall as well? Yeah, I did. So, you did it in the fall, in the winter. Mm -hmm. What do you do in the spring? Track. Oh, and you'll do track. That's yeah. outstanding. Um, it says, Anna is someone that her coaches and teammates can consistently rely on. We love having Anna on our team. <laughs> Anna, we have a certificate for you, and you're right up from Coach Emily. And how about some free Chick-fil-A on us? Congratulations. You. You're welcome. Our second athlete of the week comes to us from our 7th and 8th grade girls green basketball team. This is Tati. And Tati, this reads, when the game whistle blows, Tati does everything to try to help her team win. She leads the team in steals. That's awesome. She is one of the top scorers, rebounders, and probably the most improved as well. She always has a smile on her face. Good work. Yeah, there it is, with teammates in practice and in game preparations. But during the game, she plays relentless defense and has an overdrive gear to take the ball to the hoop. Never selfish, and, and as the team has worked through multiple injuries and sickness, Tati has played every position and accepts the challenge willingly. What's your favorite position? Uh... Probably three. Yeah, like to play the three. She is an awesome teammate and even better person. That's really awesome from Coach McDonough. So she speaks very highly of you. And um, I know that you've got an amazing team and the teammates uh, that you've played with this year. Um, I know uh, Coach McDonough has been thrilled working with your team this year. How about a round of applause for Tati? Tati, you're right up. Your certificate and enjoy some Chick-fil-A on us. Thank, Thank you. you, congratulations. And our last recipient of our Athlete of the Week, this is Deanna. Oh, sorry, this is Diani. Diani, you are from the seventh grade cheer, so this is gonna be Coach Brittany, correct? And did you do it in the fall as well? All right, so I have to ask, there's no cheer in the winter or in the spring unless we were to cheer for lacrosse or track or softball, which would be kind of weird. What will you do in, in the spring? Um, so just kind of rest up for next season? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. So we'll see. We'll, we'll have to follow Diani and see what she does in the spring. But let's talk about what diani has been doing in the winter. It says, Diani always comes to practice prepared and ready to work hard. She has a good attitude, and she's willing to try new things. When cheering at games, she's always spirited and smiling. Diani is a great representation of Sycamore cheer and a true leader. That's awesome. Congratulations. Clap, 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 clap. Diani, something for the refrigerator. Hopefully you got some magnets to put that up. Your certificate as well. And do you like Chick-fil-A? I don't know anybody who doesn't like Chick-fil-A. So um, what's, what do they always say? My pleasure. They always say my pleasure. So um, enjoy your Chick-fil-A as well. So congratulations. Thank you. Those are our Athletes of the Week. Thanks, Mrs. Stern, and wow. Congratulations to our Athletes of the Week. Way to go to represent our school. <coughs> Now on to our character awards. Good afternoon, Sycamore. Mr. Stern here to do this week's character awards. So trying to figure out, were these the awards before the break? I can't even remember. So we've had so many four-day weeks and, and whatnot. Um, but, but that's not important. Uh, what's important is we've got two students who um, are going to be honored today. And the first one is Ellie Ruiz, if I believe it is pronounced correctly. It says, you've been my day. I think that might be a metaphor for, do you know what, I'm gonna ask the cameraman, do you know what that means? 
You you're my made, day. You made my day. I you made my day. I don't know. It, it just says you've been my day. So we'll take that as a compliment. Um, you've been my day since I can remember. I know how busy you are, but you always make time for your friends. And I respect how hard you work. That's really awesome that you're noticing how hard Ellie does with whatever she's working on. It might be homework or could be music, could be art, could be sports. You're so funny and welcoming, and I'm beyond happy to be my friend. So, Ellie Ruiz, uh, we're going to make sure that you get a free Papa John's and definitely a big shout out from us today. Our second winner is Paxton Bauer, and this reads, during flex period, he comes down to our class and hangs out with us. He is extremely friendly to everyone. So congratulations, Paxton, as well. We're going to make sure that you get a free, large, one-topping Papa John's pizza, because Papa John's, they support our character program. Um, this week, uh, it is Thursday. Mr. Rodriguez and I will be visiting Mrs. Darbyshire's class, because that's what we do. We visit classrooms. But hey, you can make a difference any day of the week. Wow, great work, and those are some awesome acts of kindness. Birthdays! Happy birthday to Mr. Callahan. Have a wonderful day celebrating your special day. We also wanted to share members of our Aviator Nation that we missed recognizing last week, celebrated a snow day for their special day, or enjoyed their day over the weekend. Staff member, Ms. Scott, and students, Dylan M., Cora D., Roman Y, Rebecca Y, Harry Z, Evan K, Alice A, Bradley A. Hope you all had a wonderful day celebrating your special day. Joke, joke of, of the, the day. day! Now over to Kara and Holden for the joke of the day. How do you make an egg roll? How? You push it. That's so funny! Well, that's all we have for today. Enjoy your day. Follow PBIS expectations and go Waves! Waves.